And people people are surprised because they're like, no, nah, a cow didn't really pull on your head. Yeah, yeah. You didn't really get, you know, uh, somebody pull a knife on you in, in America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People need to understand that we're, we're vets. Simple or complex, doesn't matter to us. We do the right thing. And a television show is a double-edged sword in the sense that people think you only do advanced stuff when 90% of what we do is relatively straightforward stuff. And people think you're expensive when actually you may be cheaper or the same price as everybody else. It's been hard, you know. The first practice was a hut in the woods, which everybody said nobody would come to. But they did come because I was working every hour, 24-7, 365 days a year, and I was always there. I think it's more difficult now than it's ever been. The vast majority of veterinary practices um, are now owned by huge companies who own hundreds and hundreds of practices. So I only have one, and I want to look after that. The whole point of, right, of doing the television show in the first place was to bring light to the world and to take a step back and think about what a dog might think of the world we've created or a cat might think of the world we've created. And although that might seem anthropomorphic, I see it in my room every day, that bond of love. And I felt that if I could somehow translate the love I see in my consulting room every day and spray it around the world with this book, then that would be a good thing.